What's good, YouTube? Riser92 back again with another episode of our Pokemon Ruby Randomizer Nuzlocke, the Call of Groudon. Um, just a reminder before we get into the game, um, you know, the Call of Groudon, we are trying to raise awareness and get the word out to as many people as possible for um, our friend Veronica and her family. Uh, where her dad's been diagnosed with cancer. We just want to do everything we can to help them out. Uh, so the link, just like in the last video, should be in the description for their GoFundMe. If you can donate, please go ahead and do that. And without f any further ado, let's jump in to this episode. Real quick, I'm just going to set a timer so that I don't run over. Otherwise, I will. Um, in, in the last episode, we did the Choose My Starter and just as a reminder, our options were uh, Nidorino, Walrein, and Gardevoir. Um, and the choices were, or the, the votes were tallied. There wasn't a ton of them, obviously, very small channel. But we did get Gardevoir for the win. And we are going to rock out with her. So we're going to take on this this first fight with this Poochie oh that we can't do anything to yeah alright we're not going to be able to do anything so I'm going to we're going to have to burn through all our moves what happens if we just run can we just run from this fight Oh, yes, we can. Okay. Phew. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Riser. This is not the place to chat, so come back to my Pokemon lab later. So, Riser, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. By the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. For the record, a plum is such a weird word. I had no idea that was a word. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes. As a thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Riser received Gardevoir. Why not give it a nickname? Oh, we're definitely gonna nickname Gardevoir. What are we gonna nickname Gardevoir? Whew. I should have been thinking about this all week. I failed you, I'm sorry. Let's name it... Oh, I had such a good... I feel like I had a nickname last night before I went to bed. Because I was reading through the comments, just to tally votes and stuff. I feel like I want to name you Renegade. The name may change at a later time, but... For now... I feel like that's what I want. Nope. There we go. Alright. We've got our Renegade, the Gardevoir. Which honestly should be a beast. Like, no joke, should be super OP. Uh, my Kid May is on Route 103. Might not be a bad idea for you to go see Mei. What do you think? Yeah, we'll go fight Mei. Either, no matter what she takes, chooses. <clears throat> I think she'll choose the middle one. But it shouldn't be of much challenge to us. Now, the first time I played through this game, I had no idea that this was like you picking your Pokemon. I thought you just had to defeat it for some reason. And that when you came back to the lab, you'd get to officially choose. So... <laughs> I think the thing... Ooh! Hello! Would not be mad about that bug type in the first round. No swarm. Um... So, I ended up picking Mudkip, and I didn't want to pick Mudkip for my starter. I just thought, you know, since I'm going to use someone else, I'll see what he's got. And lo and behold, I started with Mudkip and immediately restarted my game and picked Torchic. Dude, I'm not going to be mad if we catch a Scyther, guys. Sorry if I sound a little tired. Um, I just woke up not too long ago. Trying to get some some recording done. 
got some other stuff going on today that I definitely want to give my attention to, but let's go ahead and heal up. This is Old Dale Town. It's the Viridian City of this game. You restore your Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thanks, Joy. Always a delight. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. Hope to see you soon. Again. Whatever. Okay. Go get some balls. Or not balls. Potions. We can't get balls yet. That's okay. Get ten, but we don't want ten. We'll take four. Four sounds like a good round number. Really hoping we can get through all the tutorial stuff and get to our um, our first encounter today. Let's see what's up in this grass. And remember, if you are excited about this video and want to, you know, not miss it in the future, make sure to comment and subscribe and like this video. So we should do nothing with Growl. Just click. Uh, let's try. I feel like Confusion should do a lot because it's part poison. Oh, my hip hurts. Right before I started recording, I fell down outside and it snowed last night. So the walkway's a little slick. And then my hip's all stiff. Alright, May. I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Oh, May, you sweetheart. Writer Mark. I hope you're always Writer Mark. Alright, so we are not going to get the type advantage, which is fine. We're going to trace thick fat, so you poison us. Um, you know what, we're going to open up with Double Team, because technically the Nuzlocke hasn't started, but that doesn't mean I want to lose. She's going to Water Gun us, we're going to Double Team again. She's going to Water Gun us again, Double Team, hopefully here she starts missing. Oh my gosh! Alright, so we're just going to have to start attacking, because we're going to get some damage off on this thing. Yeah, that's right, miss your attack. Oh my goodness. She's missed one. Oh, we have an item too. I didn't even think to check that. It's clearly not a berry. <coughs> I like that. Maze wall rain is down for the count. Defeated Rider Mark. <laughs> I'm not even mad. I mean, you just got that Pokemon and it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. Let's check out this item real quick. Ooh, also, we got the Pro Strats. Miracle Seed. Not an awful item, but we'll go ahead and take it from you. Let's see what happens if we... Oh, we teleported. Or we just used that Pokemon Center, so we'll teleport back there, huh? Yep. Saved us all of two seconds. Just jettison on down here. Oh, hi, Riser. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. Yeah, we're amazing. Duh. May's been helping with my research for a long time and has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Rezer, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Dope. Rezer received the Pokedex. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch, because when this game came out in 2003, people had already forgotten what encyclopedias were, so we had to stop referring to them as encyclopedias. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why, May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Oh wow, Riser, you got a Pokedex too. That's great, just like me. I've got something for you too. And the Nuzlocke has officially started, so from this point forward, if a Pokemon faints, it dies. We lose all of our Pokemon. We are out of the game. And with that, 
I think we are ready. Oh, mom's gonna stop us. She wants to give us our shoes. I'm not even gonna read it. She gives us our shoes. Our Pokemon's adorable. Press B while we're wearing the running shoes. Blah, blah, blah. So now we've got speed up button and the run up shoes. We're gonna go super duper fast straight towards our first encounter. And on Route 101, our Pokemon is Bannet. Ooh. I'm not mad about that either, but I don't know that we can hurt it. Uh, if we can do a lot, let's just throw a Pokeball. Ooh. It's good. Are we only going to see... No, because we saw Scyther. So we should be able to see Gen 1 and Gen 2. Oh my gosh. This thing's going to... We're going to... Oh my goodness. Well, now it's got some damage. That's fine. That's fine. We've got potions. We're not worried. It's totally... Ooh, well, I mean, we're a little worried now. Jeez. Ah, uh, because just a reminder that if... Renegade dies, we are down. Ooh. Okay, cool. Okay, let's try these Pokeballs. We've got two left. Two shots. One shot. We need to push him first, otherwise we're going to die after this Pokeball. Alright, cross your fingers, because Banat would be a soup. Nope, no Banat. It's not on the cards for us, guys. Sorry. Let's get out of here, then. Because I definitely want us to get our first encounter. Teddy Ursa would have been dope. Wouldn't have been mad about that. Trace pick up, so let's make sure we didn't pick up anything. Let's heal our poor boy here, our little renegade, who is, by the way, a female. Let's actually check out her stats real quick. So, uh, renegade de Gardevoir with an impish nature, uh, attack 14, defense 15. Special attack and special defense obviously higher at 21 and 22 respectively. And speed is pretty... Pretty respectable. Okay, we're going to need some more Pokeballs because obviously that did not work out for us. Let's go ahead and grab some here. 200 apiece. Just, just give it all to me on Pokeballs. Thanks. Bye. Alright, let's go see what's going on. Well, that was meant to be. Mm. That is a weirdly colored Pikachu. Like, I know it's not shiny, it's just the color spectrum, or the color format or whatever on my computer is a little weird. So it's just coming across a little greenish. Ooh, we got a primer ball. Let's see if we can catch Pikachu on a primer ball. Again, we can't hit it really because we will just wreck house. Alright, Pikachu is the first member of our team. We are, of course, going to give it a nickname. We're going to name this guy Jax. I don't know why. I just like it. So that's what we're going to name it. Uh, but now we need to go ahead and get him trained up. Let's do a little bit of switch training. Actually, just a little bit. We'll see what else is in the woods, because I don't want to get him too high so we can use him for something on the next route. Little picks I think we can take, but we'll keep a close eye. Hello, Pinnifer. Are you coming to hang out? Oh, we're going to die. 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 So... That was a boneheaded move. I'm so very mad at myself. I failed you. The misclick kids at it again, kids. So let's go ahead and get rid of this Pikachu. He's on our team for all of two seconds. We're gonna move the Pikachu. Uh, 
straight into box 14. Let's go ahead and name this the death box. Let's change the wallpaper. I want something dark. So not that. Now let's just go with cracks. Let's keep it there. What's under scenery? Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's just keep it crack. And that's why we're not using the speed up button a whole bunch. In fact, taking my hand off that side of the keyboard. Ah. Uh, So very genuinely frustrated right now. Pikachu would have been so dope. <laughs> this is Species Clause. Um, if you don't know what Species Clause is, it means if we've caught one Pokemon in a species, like if our encounter is the evolution or the pre-evolution of a Pokemon we already have, it doesn't count. So we can re-encounter. Although it's interesting that Curly is found here. Paris is going to be our encounter. Give me two seconds, guys. I'm just going to shut my door real quick. Just because I'm recording and make sure I'm not disturbing other people. And Penny is finally laid down on a little pillow for Aniston. You little goofy goob. You little goofy goob. Alright, so let's, let's catch this Paris and let's not wreck it like we did our... Poor little Pikachu. Ah, we caught up with the Premier Ball. That was just so many misplays on my part. Pikachu is a decent Pokemon. Paris is garbage. Ah. You guys deserve better. I'll be better. Oh my goodness, I almost don't want to catch this Paris. Like, we've got plenty of trainers to get Pokeballs between here and the next route, but... Like... What even is life right now? Okay, let's beat this up. We got six balls left. Come on, get in the ball. Get in the, get in my balls. My balls are amazing. Oh, don't start whining. You were just laying down. Just go back to laying down. You were fine. Come here. Come here, Pinnifer. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so we're gonna try this again. Paris the Mushroom Pokemon. Paris has parasitic mushrooms growing on its back called Tuchukaso. They grow large by drawing nutrients from the bug, Pokemon host. They are highly valued as medicine for extending life. And yes, we're going to give a nickname. <sighs> we're going to call you Shirley. Why are all my Pokemon females so far? Well, I don't know what Pikachu was. Pikachu might have been a male. I didn't check. But you were going to be Shirley the Paris. Now we're going to go straight back to the Pokemon Center and heal up, because I'm not doing that again. And we'll try and get through Wally, so this episode might actually run a little bit longer, but we'll see. Dope. We got healed. switch train you in battles because I want to get this little show on the road Ugh. oh you're so feisty right now Pinnifer Aniston is just the most feistiest little puppy huh so feisty 
Alright, so we're gonna take on Swimmer Wayne. He's gonna sit on a Porygon. Jeez, calm down. That would have been a dope find. He traced our effects for which is fine. Actually, that's kind of cool because now we're gonna switch out into Renegade. And we're gonna trace his effects for. So he's gonna tackle us. We're gonna confuse him. him. If he doesn't get poisoned, paralyzed, or burned, I guess. Get out of here, you computer program. Surely grew to level 4, which is nice. We defeated a Swimmer Wayne. Ugh, I lost. I should have trained mine more. Yep, maybe. Your team looks like garbage. Our eyes met. I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. Um, feel bad for your bug Pokemon personally, but whatever. Ranger Kim wants to battle. Ranger Kim sent out Nidoran Male. Surely he's gonna switch straight into Renegade. We're gonna trace her poison point, which is nice and a lot. Good. Trace is a good. Well, I mean, we can't poison Nidoran because it's poison type, but Trace is kind of like. Ability, it's kind of nice. I'm gonna use a C dot. Might as well switch you back out. Kind of hope you learn something other than scratch, to be honest. Gonna We're gonna trace chlorophyll. Go ahead and confusion. That is the end of that. Give me just a second, guys. Sorry. Sorry about that. Important things going on in the world today, it seems. Ah, but let's go up here fight this guy. Did you just become a trainer? We're both beginners. Um, no, I'm a Pokemon expert. Despite what Pikachu and any potential commenters might say. I am, in fact. 100%. An expert. Trace pure power. So Metatram's gonna use confusion. Forgot Metatram is not just fighting type, but that's okay. We're still gonna two hit KO, which is always nice. Shirley's gonna grow to level six, still not learning anything decent. We're gonna grow to level nine. Getting them big gains in, and he's gonna use an Igly buff. And we're gonna defeat Thomas, just like that. We didn't even switch. We were just that good. Just that good. So we're going to grab these berries, because there's no time event, the berries will not grow back on their own. Uh, but that's okay, we don't care. So we're going to get two Orn and two Petra berries, poison and or poison heal and 10% health, and we're going to skip her for now, we'll come back to her later. Weeping Bell, that would be cool. I'd actually prefer that to Shirley. Uh, let's go heal up, just to be safe, being in those lock and all. So mad about Pikachu, guys. Ah. Leave a comment if you're mad at Pikachu and if you're embarrassed on my behalf because I'm certainly embarrassed. And if, I, I don't know. That was.
was disappointing. This is my dad, by the way. Uh, so my dad, we moved to Hoenn, Little Root Town, so my dad could be a trainer here in Petalburg. We're originally from Johto, I believe. Um, so my dad just found out that I got my first Pokemon, and he thinks that's great news. Uh, now that we're taking on the Pokemon League Challenge, he's looking forward to battling us. Um, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Huh? You're... Oh, right, you're Wally, right? Uh, I'm gonna go stay with my relatives in Verdant Turf Town, and I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along, but I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Riser, you heard that, right? My dad, look at me, pimping me out. Go with Wally and make sure that he catches a Pokemon. Wally, here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Wally received a Zigzagoon. Oh wow, a Pokemon. I'll give you a Pokeball, er, hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball too. Go for it. Wally received a Pokeball. One single Pokeball. Oh wow, thank you. Riser, would you really come with me? Yeah. So this is us now, guys. We are actually the trainer, or the tutorial, training Wally how to catch a Pokemon, right? How cool is that? Riser, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! I'm curious if it's still gonna be... Oh my goodness! My boy! Hello? <laughs> Shell Shocker? <laughs> That's not a Zigzagoon at all! What is this battle right now? I'm so... I don't want Wally to have a Blastoise. Like, they could have been our Blastoise. Why does he get to Blastoise? So Blastoise is going to use Withdrawal. Oh, I want to screen capture this. How do I screen capture? Hold on, guys. Just If you're seeing this, just ignore it. It's not a thing. Uh, tools. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to screen capture this. That's disappointing. Oh, screen capture, screen capture. Yeah, that's fine. Just just go to the desktop. Save. All right, sorry. Sorry. I just wanted to use that Blastoise. It's like if you think I'm getting a Blastoise, basically. If you, th if you watched this video and initially thought that I got a Blastoise, by all means, let me know. Because that's my plan. That's the clickbait. Just kidding. Just kidding. Well, he's gonna use a Pokeball. It'd be so funny if it broke free. I think it's got a 100% catch rate, actually. Gotcha, Blastoise was caught. So Wally gets a Blastoise, and I killed a Pikachu. Something that would be really good against his Blastoise, huh, Benny? I did it! It's my Pokemon! Riser, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. So, did it work out? Thank you, yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Riser, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Blastoise Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Riser. Now, Riser, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them. Understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, Riser. But that's only after you become stronger, Riser. That was weird. Alright, guys. And... With that, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. As it turns out, I actually have to run an errand. I was not expecting to have to run. Hey, you need to calm down. Relax. Breathe. Two seconds. But as you can see, things are getting a little crazy around here, and i got to run an errand. So, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and like it and comment down below if you are mad about what I did to that Pikachu. Also make sure that you are 
answering the call of Groudon and check out Veronica's Let's Go for her family and her dad uh, so we can try and get them the help that they need. Uh, but other than that, guys, thanks for watching and have a great day. Take it easy.